let's take a look at BIOS Genesis. Now, this proves that big things come in small boxes because this is a tiny, tiny little box. But there is so much game in it that it's just insane. And it's by Phil Eklund. Man's a genius. Absolute genius. And in a nutshell, the Earth has just formed. And we are going to try and make some sort of organism. Now, sounds easy enough. Each turn is about 200 million years. And it hammers the hell out of you. So actually getting something alive and forming into anything is nothing short of a miracle. Once you've got your little organism ticking away nicely, you can try and upgrade it to an actual thing, a thing, uh, and potentially go on land. Uh, I'm going to have to zoom the camera way out because it takes up a whole bunch of table space. So, BIOS Genesis. Here's how it works. You see, I wasn't kidding when I said it took up a fair bit of table space. Right, where to begin with this monster? Um, first, we have event cards. Three types of event cards. Hadean Era, Archean Era, and Proto Proterozoic Era. I'm going to butcher so many names in this video. I humbly apologise to Phil Eklund for the names I'm going to butcher. Right, these cards are going to tell us what is going to happen. Um, I've set it for a shorter game, which means that there's three of these cards short, and we are four of these ones short. So, it will still take a while, but it is a shorter game. Um, <clears throat> these are our four types of landforms. We have Cosmic, Ocean, Coastal, Continent. And they'll come into play as they get activated. They're all inactive at the moment. That's inactive and that's active. These cards here are linked to the one that they're beside and these are all mutations that we would be able to buy if we actually get an organism alive. Uh, let's see what else we have. I'm going to do a solo game which is I'm going to effectively have two colours blue and yellow. There's also going to be two AI parasites red and green. They can only really attach to anything once we actually get an organism up and running. Then they'll suddenly dive in and try and leech off us and it's up to us to boot them off. Um, these little things, this is called a Biont and each of the players is three, the parasites get only get one each. Uh, let's see, we also have little discs such as these. Uh, these are either catalysts or when they're placed in these cards they become enzymes. And we also have little squares. Uh, these are kind of mana and other things. It kind of depends on what card they're on, what space they're on. But they will appear on mutation uh, cards like these. So that would have a yellow square. That would have a blue or cube rather. So they'll come into play. So we have soup which is this. I've separated them just to make it easier to grab stuff. But they are going to come into play. If we actually get an organism up and running and it's ticking along nicely, if we have enough of those little cubes, we could turn it into an actual thing. So example here, is if we have one red, two yellow, a green and a blue, we could convert those cubes into being a lampshell. We would then have organs rather than just chromosomes and stuff. So, needless to say, 
Very rarely have I used these cards because I always get absolutely horsed by them. Ah, oh, right. I think I've went through the basic stuff. So let us go for the first event card. Oh, and just before I draw the card, I should mention there is an awesome uh, player aid on Board Game Geek, which goes through the various phases and things that you need to do. Very, very handy. So I will definitely be using that. Right. First event. Here we have Meteoritic Accretion, I think, which is our name here. Tells us that the green player is going to go first, then we go clockwise. Um, we're going to activate the cosmic and the ocean. So, activate that, activate that. The other two are inactive. You get some text here that tells you uh, all about this particular event. There's loads of scientific stuff in this. So if you're at, even remotely a teeny wee bit interested in biology and so on, even just reading the rule book is amazing. Uh, these are the events that we are going to have to carry out. First one, uh, this one here is an aftershock, uh, sorry, a smite event. Smite event will normally take mana off landforms and that kind of thing. So we've got nothing there, so we can't do that yet. Two here, this is sort of depicting something from above smashing into the earth. So from the topmost active, we put out two events, so two cards. So we want to put out the top two of these, which is Mars Paleo Ocean and Deep Hop Biosphere. So we've done that. We also need to put mana on these little things. So let me just bring this one down a bit. We have mana structure here that I need to put out. So I need to put out a green and a blue and two red. The idea is we want to take disorganized and organize it. And it all depends on whether it's hot or cold, what the dice results will be, and these are the slots for the discs to go in to be enzymes. These are kind of the bad bits. So one and two would organize mana in this case, and five and six would disorganize it and potentially kill off enzymes. So that one is done. That one is a blue, green, red and yellow. So that fixes that one. Right, next bit on the card is sun. So we are in, it says lava oceans. So we are in a warm spell. So we need to look at the warm parts of the card. So one, two, three, four is good in this one. One, two is good in that one. So that event is done. We have done the whole event thing. That is phase one on this player red. Phase two is the assignment. Right, assignment. We then have to put our little buy on things here onto these cards and try and get mana organized up top so that we can then hopefully flip the card and become a thing, a real live thing. Right, let's look into assignment. Right, assignment. We have a few different things that we can do. We have to start with, as it said in the card, we're going to start with green and then we go clockwise. So I'm going to go green, blue, yellow, red. Yeah, that way. We can assign bionts, attach a parasite, supplant a parasite, or assign antioxidants. So the first thing we'll do is assigning bionts. So 
do we want to have bring these down a bit do we want a bionce on one of these we can only have one each red and green can't put anything on here they can only attach to organisms so they can't do anything it's basically blue and yellow so we're in a warm period one two three four is good on this card one two is good um we have a nice range of mana colors same idea here now with this one if we put a buy on up here we need to use one of our catalysts as a penalty uh, we each have a catalyst to start off with which is just the discs these guys so i'll put them there just to show they're actually there because i did actually forget to put them out and pretty much we are going to go here we're going to go for this one um the two here blue and yellow they could in theory they could um go against each other but i'm just going to use them cooperatively and be nice so blue is going to put a buy on here yellow same that way they're going to have shares in whatever the organism may be the organism is in the back of this card i don't know what it will be so we have assigned a buy on can't do the parasite stuff uh antioxidants we can't do because we don't have any of those yet or we don't have an organism yet next comes auto catalytic roll phase three Autocatalytic roll is that we take dice for the amount of bionts and cubes up here. We don't have any cubes, so it's only going to be bionts, and it's two dice each. So it's going to be four dice. And the way it works is we want one, two, three, four. That way we can move these guys up. Five, six will take stuff from the top and disorganize it and boot it off in our case for bionce so four dice we want one two three fours well i'll be must be my lucky day we have two three and two fours so we can move four things up which is going to be all four of these guys up to there so they are now all organized, all good. Now, because we have a double, we have a double of the same number, what we can do is flip this card and make an organism. Uh, we've got blue and yellow are the bionts. The mana structure at the bottom has blue, green, yellow, red. Blue comes first, so blue owns this organism. He, uh, he has the most shares in it, we'll see. So if we want, we can flip this and become a thing. So I think, I think we'll go for it. We may as well because it's probably going to die off and we'll have another chance later on. So, let me just chuck that out of the way. Put that back to there. And we can now flip this to become... A thing and it will be it will be sugar driven biosynthesis that's our new name <laughs> very catchy and these go on the appropriate colors blue is heredity chromosomes green is entropy chromosomes red metabolism Yellow is specificity. So that is us. These red, blue, greens, yellows, they are hopefully going to help us stay alive. The more we lose of these, the harder it's going to be to stay alive and we're going to end up dying off. So what I'm going to do is shuffle things about a bit to try and make some space. But blue owns this guy. 
and I will put that over here. This is where it starts to get crazy with space because if we get a whole bunch of mutations I've got to put them on the side. Uh, okay, that can live there. That should be good. Put them up there. So, blue owns this, but yellow has a buy on in there, so yellow has shares in this company here. So they can both buy stuff for it. Right, now that we've got an organism, we've got a real life thing, um, we've got to do phase four, a Darwin roll, to see can it stay alive through potentially bad things. And we roll one dice for each cube, so that's going to be four. And we roll two for each bion. So that's another four. Eight dice. We want one, well, a one will get us, as it says here, in this case anyway, the changes per card, but this card, sugar driven biosynthesis, gets a red disc for each one that turns up. And that's because there's one red cube. If it had two red cubes, then it would get two discs for each one. If we got a treble, we get another one. What we don't want, we don't want fives and sixes. That then is a potential error in the whole Darwinism thing. And we have to take atrophies, which is we'll lose stuff. So five and six is bad, one is good. That's what it comes down to. And of course I get a whole bunch of sixes. Surprise! Right. So, I have four sixes and a five. Oh, Jesus. And I have one one. The three and the four, useless. No good to anybody. One gets me one red disc. So, that goes to the blue player because... It's their organism. This lot here is not going to do us any good. The yellow cube means that I can re-roll one dice. Any one of the dice really, but obviously I'm going to re-roll one of the bad ones. To get a four, which is useless, but better than a six. So I've got four. Uh, I've got two blue hereditary chromosomes. That'll deflect two of these, so I can take away another two. Get two left. Nothing I can do to save us from these two, so I have to take two atrophies. So I have to take two things off this card. Hmm. Um, I'm going to take off the green. So we'll lose the green. It goes back in the soup. And the blue ones are handy, it lets us deflect the errors. The yellow lets us do a re-roll, so we'll have to sacrifice that. So already we've lost a chunk of sugar-driven biosynthesis. Great! <laughs> Told you this was harsh. Right, that is Darwin roll. We've done that. Um, there is a whole way of kind of working it that you've got to take off all the cubes first and then if you run out of cubes for atrophies then you've got to use the um, bionts. So the bionts are always last. Right, phase five, purchases. This is where we can buy stuff for our little guy. Let's see what we've got. Right, for buying stuff... We can only buy stuff from our home row, which is shown up here, which is the top one. So we can only buy from this bundle or any other active one, which is this one. So we can only buy one of these two cards. Now, one thing that I've already forgotten was when you activate a place, a landform, you've got to royal the cards, you've got to take the top one, put it in the bottom. And I forgot to do that, which doesn't really matter because we never actually bought anything anyway. 
But we can buy one of these two cards. We can buy uh, Quorum Sensing. Fair enough, if you say so. That would cost us one yellow, which we don't have a yellow. But we could use both of those to be a yellow. Or we can buy mRNA, which would only cost us one blue, and we'd still have a red left. Alright, let's see. Um, this one gets us what's called a red queen, and we also then get the ability for six. And it means that we can royal the deck later on in the game. Uh, the other one has Red Queen Fusion and HGT. That would probably come in handy. But we do only have two. Mm. Right. Because the thing is that blue is going to go first to buy things. Because we're going to go green, blue, yellow, red. Yellow can also buy things for the blue organism because yellow has a share in it. And no matter who is buying for this organism, the cost comes out of the blue organism's bank, effectively. So even if yellow buys, it comes out of here. Um, I don't know. We could use both to get the sensing, or we could use just the blue to get mRNA. Hmm. I think we'll go for the yellow. This will get us a red queen, which means we can steal stuff back from nasty parasites. HGT uh, lets you move your bionts, and this little thing that looks like googly eyes is actually fishing. That lets you do two purchases so I think we'll go for this one and that's going to cost both of those yeah it's a bit of a downer you know I'm absolutely skint but it means that we get a yellow cube on this this now becomes part of our thing little sugar, sugar driven biosynthesis there and that yellow cube which I think I've got in camera, just. The yellow cube, it's on a mutation, but the mutation is part of the organism. So that counts as a yellow cube again. So we've got a yellow cube back. And we've got extra abilities, which is always good. Right. Yellow can't buy anything, because there's nothing left. So that is the end of purchases. We could, in theory, maybe next time upgrade that to the other side. But that's a bit of a gamble. But we'll see. And this is all stuff mostly for microorganisms. Doesn't count towards us. And so we reach the end of the first turn. We have sugar driven biosynthesis. It is okay. You could do it. Could do a, a green chromosome, but mm, can't have everything. But he's alive. End of turn one, and we've got a thing. So I'm surprised at that alone. But next turn, though, these guys are going to have the chance to latch on. So we'll see what happens there. I will see you for turn two.